In this video, we'll be using AI, particularly ChatGPT, to be able to create your Google responsive search ads and more. In addition, you'll be able to write better, effective, catchier ads, which you'll be able to analyze using tools that I will show you at the end of this video. So stick around. Hi, I'm Tim from Launch Peso Digital Marketing, where we focus on Google Ads for Shopify for clients. And as mentioned before, I did say we'll be using ChatGPT to be able to create your Google Ads and more. So let's hop in now. So just as a side note, before we get into using ChatGPT, I used Bard to create these Google search ads to see what the outputs would be, to find that Bard was actually a bit of a fail, if not an epic fail. Now, being a Google product, you would expect it to do well being linked to Google Ads. However, it wasn't the case. It took a couple of tries to get this close to what I was looking for. However, it still came in short. The most important thing I wanted Bard to do was read my website, which it can do. It can crawl sites being a Google product. It took a few attempts to get close to what I was looking for for a Google responsive search ads. All the headlines and descriptions I was looking for, it was tough. I got more simple and precise with my prompt told Bard to crawl my website, then create all the copy for Google responsive search ads, and then for it to create the titles, which should be called headlines, to be 30 characters long or less, including spaces, create 15 of these. Descriptions, same again, 90 characters long or less, including spaces, create four, and do not use the word Shopify in the copy. So I've got close. However, a couple of these here are over 30 characters. You can use a word counter to be able to check these out. You can see that there it's 39 characters. And you can see that this one, Shopify, was used in the headline. So that's a fail. And all of these here are definitely over 90 characters long. You can tell that just by eyeballing them. And there we go. By the time of this video, Bard is not a good alternative at the moment for creating your Google responsive search ads, sadly. Okay, so we're over into ChatGPT right now. And this is the plus version. So you do need to have a paid version for creating the Google responsive search ads Reason being is because you need to install a plugin. For the plugin you need to install, you have actually come to GTP4. It doesn't work with GTP 3.5, so hence the reason why you do need the Plus account. And then you would add in this plugin. So you'd select Plugins. I've already got it installed, but I'll go into the Plugin Store to give you an idea of what you need to be looking for. The best thing to do is to search for the Robo Add plugin and just hit Install, which I have already and then come back over to your chat GDP and then select that plugin. You can select multiple plugins, but for this example, we just need to select the Robo Add plugin. And once you've selected that, that's it. So what does the plugin do? There's actually not much details. Your AI powered ad assistant, that could be in anything. Chat GDP knows what the plugin is. So you can say, what is this plugin? Since it's the only one we are using. And so this is just a real life example showing you what exactly how this plugin works. So not only did I ask, what is this plugin? I also asked, what does this plugin do and how does it work? And it gave me a full list of what it does, as well as the instructions here on how to use it properly. So you can also ask it to give you the best prompts for this plugin for creating Google Ads. So in real time, let's see what this results in. Pretty much almost exactly the same besides the fact that it does give you some details on analyzing the URL first, as well as other details that may give it some more information like brand name, product services, call to action, unique selling propositions, USPs as are also called. You can use these in your prompt. I'm going to start a new chat after we've asked it exactly what this plugin does and how it works. I just need to make sure that I do pick chat GDP4 plugins. Okay, so robot ads is already picked, but first prompts analyze my personal agency website. But now that Robo ad has analyzed my website, it's just the home page. It has given a bit of information as to the brand name, calls to actions, a few information there around the products and services, and a few USPs that should give it some more information for generating the ad copy. At another time, I may improve these USPs from what Robo ad has scraped from my website. However, just for this example, I will leave it as is, and I will drop in my prompt here which I'll leave in the description below, which you can find and use it for your own ads. So I'll be asking ChatGPT to generate compelling and catchy ad copy for Google responsive search ads. Headlines must be 30 characters or less, including spaces. Descriptions must also be 90 characters or long or less, including spaces, and create four of these. And do not use the word Shopify in their copy because it's trademarked. Let's hit go and see what ChatGDP comes back with. This chat has finished creating the headlines and the descriptions. Not too impressed with these results. 
I spent a bit of time playing around with this today in another chat and I got a little closer as to what I was looking for in terms of the titles or the headlines as well as the descriptions, which are far more catchier than what the predecessors were. As I was mentioning before, there is a tool that you can use to analyze your headlines. And this tool is called the Headline Analyzer by the Advanced Marketing Institute. So you start going through each one of these headlines and you can just drop them in and you can get a bit of an idea as to what the percentages they come out at. Do each one of these one by one and see what results you get come back. Now, I'm not expecting these to be amazing because they're very short headlines. It's probably not enough information there for the analyzer to be able to pick up everything, but it gives you an idea what to look for. To give it more information, you can actually give it one of the descriptions and you can drop it in like so and hit analyze. This one here says 41.6%, which is a little bit better than the overall scores that we have before. I'd like to give Benjamin from Loves Data a quick shout out for sharing this tool. It's definitely helpful for improving your copy. One last thing you can check with your results that you've got is you can check if they do fit the character limit for Google Ads. And you can use a Chrome extension. I've just used this count selected text here and it'd be able to come up with a little thing saying that this is, this will pop up saying it's 31 characters long. I can make some changes with that by getting rid of that hyphen. I can just put a colon there and you can just go through each one by one and just check. And if some of these don't meet the character limit, you can just make some small adjustments so they do meet the Google Ads criteria. Lastly, let's just check one more description to see if they do fit the character length, which it does 80. Fantastic. For another example, using e-commerce products, I've asked ChatGPT and Robo Ads to analyze this particular product by Fitbit. And as you can see, putting in the prompts, analyze the page, setting my prompt with generating Google responsive search ads, headlines and descriptions. This was the first results that came through. And with a little bit more fine tuning, asking it to be a little more stricter on the actual character lengths again, it did come under 30 characters or less for the headlines this time. And it actually expanded upon the descriptions, even though I didn't ask it to. This gives me an opportunity to use a combination of the second headlines and descriptions, as well as the first ones at the top here. What's up, people? If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel. And for more interesting videos, check out the next video right here.